weekend. Steve is next, and he is in Easley. Hello, Steve, and welcome to the Bobby Mack Show. Hi, Bob. Next Tuesday, everybody's going to be excited to hear President Trump's name announced, but there's some other races that are really important, and it's in the local areas. We have a school board election coming up in Pickens County, and we're going to have three seats filled on the school board, and it's very important for the people in Pickens to know who to vote for. Yes. Uh, right now, you got Alex Seda, who is an incumbent school board member mm -hmm. who has a challenger. Right. I don't have anything against his challenger, but the thing is, just changing out an incumbent because you feel like, okay, vote them all out, it isn't a good idea this time. What we're up against, we're going to have two current former school administrators on the school board. Basically, half the school board is going to be people from administrative backgrounds who are going to be, you know, all for spending anything administration wants. And we need somebody who's looking at things from the standpoint of the parents and the taxpayers, and that's Alex Seda. Yes. There was a caller a little while ago who talked about, you know, people in government try to hide things. Right. Alex has been the one guy in Pickens County, if you've read any newspapers, if you read anything online, he's the guy that's telling you what's going on at school board, and he can explain the money problems in language people can understand. He was against closing the schools because that hurts students. It mm -hmm. kills communities. Alex tried to keep those schools open. Yes, he did. This guy is who we need on the school board. So everybody in Pickens needs to be aware of that. Keep in mind that 70% of your property tax bill is just for the schools. And if you don't keep that in control, your property taxes can skyrocket. We need Alex Seda on the school board. He'll inform us of what's going on. He's looking out for the students. Anytime you go to a school board meeting, he's actually asking the question, how does this help the kids, not how does this, you know, make us look good as a school district? Yeah, because.